What does it mean to be a child of God? A child of God obeys the one who created him, his heavenly father, in whom he puts all of his trust. In most civilized cultures, when a child disobeys his parents, he is corrected. A child of God that disobeys God will be firmly disciplined when needed. Jesus requires total obedience from his children. Our Father does not hesitate in correcting his children because his plan is perfect. He knows exactly what it will take to bring them closer to him. Only children who take heed to his correction will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Some of his children take less severe punishment to get in line with his will. But others, like myself, take severe and traumatic and stern disciplining to get into his perfect will. Not long ago, in a span of three years, I was in a horrible motor vehicle accident that nearly took my life. Within one year, after that, I was in a horrendous motorcycle accident where my body was flung nearly a football field in length. I had no helmet on. I nearly lost my right arm, my left arm, my left leg. I had internal bleeding that nearly killed me. I spent a month in the hospital. My mom was bathing me for over four months. I had to learn how to do many things all over again. But it was the grace of God that let that happen because he knew what it would take to change me. I went through many other chastisements after that, including bankruptcy, deliverance from addictions and bondages of this world. It took severe punishment to wake me up. I pray that it does not take that much to wake you up. Jesus requires total obedience from his children. If he tells you to do something, he means to do it. Do not hesitate in obeying him. He does not accept half measures. He makes no exceptions. If you step out of line, because of his genuine love for you, he will give you a good spanking. Because he knows exactly what it takes to make you fit for his kingdom. He will punish you for anything short of total obedience. He will order your steps and speak to you and tell you what you must do to be pleasing to him. But if you ignore his voice and choose your own path to go your own way, if you continue to refuse correction, you will end up in hell. Nobody on this earth can change you. Only the Holy Spirit can convict of sin, righteousness, and judgment. But my friend, the Holy Spirit will not force himself on anyone. You have a choice. Disobey Jesus and be guaranteed to end up in hell for eternity. Or obey Jesus 100% and endure until the very end and have the hope of eternal life and being found worthy and to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus will help you, my friend. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide you and show you what you must do and show you the way to be pleasing to him. But if you ignore his guidance and refuse to fully submit to him, you will receive the wages for your sin and disobedience eternal damnation in hell forever and ever and ever and ever. Cry out to Jesus, my friend. Pray like you have never prayed before. He will help you. You cannot do it alone without his help. You cannot do it. Children who go their own way and refuse their parents' correction end up in much trouble. The same is true for children of God who refuse to listen. Disobedience is deadly. There is life in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. Obey Jesus, my friend, and have the hope of eternal life. May Jesus bless you.